What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today's goal is to get the front portion of these side skirts knocked out 100%. That way we can start working on the back since obviously that needs a little bit more work because of the molding and everything. So let's just jump right into it and get these things knocked out. So as you just saw, got this sand down. I started with a 60, went 80, 120, 220, and this is literally smooth as can be. Like I'm gonna probably get some glazing putty, which is a really thin uh, bondo body filler, and uh, just fill in some of these little holes. But other than that, this is like I'm amazed with how good this looks. As far as right here goes, obviously this part I'm not doing yet because I need to trim a little bit of this uh, side skirt off so that I can make this arch all one piece. Now, obviously I didn't show that in my modification video because I didn't know after mocking this up that I would need to do that, but I'm gonna be trimming this down a little bit and then that, that allow this arch to be continuous and look like it came that way from factory. So that's why this is not done. So let's move on to the other side and get that knocked out. Apologize, this side's a little bit more cramped, but as you can see, we got this sanded down. It's pretty smooth, but I know you all can see all these grooves and stuff, which is fine. You know, it's just how the Bondo laid, or like air pockets and stuff that got in there. So it's obviously gonna be, we're gonna be putting on another coat. So I'm gonna get that on, and then we're gonna run to Advanced Auto Parts, which is just down the street, and uh, we're gonna get some glazing putty. And by the time we get back, this should be dry. So. Let's get to work. So for those who have not used Bondo before, uh, this is what I'm using. It's pretty, I mean, it's not difficult. Yes, old uh, wiper. If you need something to scoop this stuff out, you can use like a paint stick, but I didn't have one, so we're just using this old wiper head lying around. Still works the same. You just gotta get like a good dab like that. You can take your hardener, and it's not going to get hard to start mixing it. Uh, a good line straight across your pile there should be more than enough. Close this up. And you just want to keep, scoop it up, mix it in until it can all turns to one continuous color or the most likely you're going to get like a nice pink color you just want to keep pressing it keep mixing that hardener in there this does tend to get a little messy so by no means a pro at this so if I'm doing something wrong feel free to tell me in the comments
And to avoid it from hardening on you while you are applying it to the car, make sure you spread it out. Because if it's all sitting there in one pile, it's just going to harden, harden really fast. So it's good to spread it out. But see how it's all one continuous color? So that's good. And we're going to get this put on. Alright guys, so just got that second layer on and while this dries we're going to head over to the auto parts store see if we can't come up with some glazing putty. Alright guys, so I just got back from Advanced Auto Parts. So you can get this stuff at any hardware store or auto parts store near you. Um, I got the Bondo uh, professional glazing and spot putty which came with the hardener that you need to use with that it makes it just like the bondo you don't obviously need as much I also got sandable and fillable primer because this is going to fill any little scratches or anything like that and it allows you to sand with it as well without having to sand it all off and shop towels because we need these so I'm going to get this side filled up with the uh, spot putty and then we're going to move back onto that side. Pretty simple, you know, just mix it up, put it on just like the Bondo. So we're going to let that dry. I'm assuming this is going to take a little bit longer because it's so much thinner. But uh, the other side is dry. So let's move on to that side, get that second coat sanded, see if we need to put any of this on that side. And that might be it for today, guys. All right guys, so I got this sanded. It's pretty smooth. There are some little grooves and stuff that I've already put the glazing putty on. So that's gonna dry. The other side's drying. I actually have to go because uh, it's my girlfriend's grandma's birthday. So we're having a little dinner for her. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow in the morning.